Monday guys and I am busy canning today I'm gonna spin the camera around sorry it looked like a hot mess but I've been a busy working money um money a mama today <laughs> saving money is what I've been doing I am canning pinto beans today and I'm sorry I haven't turned on the camera the kids were home from school today I've had the little ones I've just I've been cleaning out my my pantry these are all empty jars that need to be refilled this is all home canned food that we have eaten and now i have to replenish so i had to wash all those get them all organized and i had to put lids and rings on them so they're ready to go i've got 18 pints of pinto beans here and i've got another seven pints in my canner so uh i this is just a quick little video i wanted to make for linda okay. and before my camera shuts off on me again <laughs> I just wanted to make this quick video for a little tip for anyone who is using the All-American Canner. This is the 921, but it really doesn't matter. Um, for anyone who has this canner, you know getting your lid can, you know, perfectly straight can be a pain in the butt. You see how it gives? And um, I noticed Linda had made mention uh, in her last video, which I loved, um, how, um, you know, the trick is trying to get this lid on straight, and it really is. I mean, that is the trick. You want it even as much as you can all the way around, but usually you'll come around this side and you'll find that, you know, it's 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 down more. Anyone that has a can uh, All-American knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I thought I would turn on my camera for you, Linda, <laughs> and I would show you my handy-dandy trick that I use to help me get this sucker um, nice and level. Um, this, for anyone who doesn't know, this is your little measurer. -er -er. It, um, it kind of shows you uh, your head space. I have it marked off um, for three inches of water, which is what I need in my canner. And what I do is I go around with this and I just lift it where I need it, like this in the back. And I'll come around here and if I need to lift it over here, I just lift it ever so lightly. And it just, it, it just bumps it just enough to where, do you see that? Do you see how little it moves it? So that you can get all of your, all of them pretty even. And this is what helps me. <laughs> Cause this lid, can be a pain in the butt. So Linda, give this a try, because I know you got this little doohickey there. So give that a try and see if that doesn't help. Now that is nice and level. So now I'm gonna be able to, um, okay, there, I have your level there. And then of course, just like Linda said, you wanna just do the opposite sides of your canner when you have an All-American. And just kind of get them on there. Now my canner is really hot because I just did a canning session and then once I have all of my all of my little pieces on there go the opposite directions and then start to tighten it down and then just try to make sure that they're all as tight as you can get them and that is it my canner is ready to go so I'm going to turn it up and get this thing going. So that is what I've been busy doing today. <laughs> oh, I'm very, very tired. Oh, say hi guys. Hello. Look, you're going to be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> like great, wonderful. <laughs> All right guys, I will talk to you later. I hope that little tidbit, that little um, trick helps you, especially you, um, Linda, let me know if it does, and, um, I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. All right, bye guys.